We've done it before and we're gonna do it again. Today's video is a 60 pound gimp mystery box from the spider shop. and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So you've got a second video in a row. How cool is that? Right, we're gonna cut straight into this box. If you don't know what these are about, you can go and check out the last video I did on them where I'll give a bit more of a better explanation. But in brief, this is a mystery box of gimp spiders, so B grade spiders, um, or, or any arachnid really, anything that would have eight legs, which has now got a maximum of seven legs left. So that'll be interesting. So to let you know from our last gimp box, our tiny little hamori that we had has molted and has a tiny little woozly spaghetti leg. <laughs> uh, so that's the only one so far that has uh, molted with us. Okay, right, these are reasonable sized tubs. Who is going first? Me. Okay, right. Danielle is picking up the first spider. Before we continue this video, did you know that Bug Realms is affiliated with the spider shop? So when you next need a stunning new tarantula, some healthy live food, well needed equipment, or just in the market for something unusual, please head over to the spider shop via my personal and unique link in the description below. This won't cost you anything extra, but it gives me a little back in return for your loyalty. Thanks guys. Now back to the video. Oh, what we assume to be a spider. Oh! GBB. Oh, that is a nice one to get in a box. I have an adult female, but that's brilliant. How many legs has it got? One, two, three, four, five, seven. six, seven legs. So now you can see the coloration difference. I'll get you to look at the other one in a minute. So this one is starting to take on its adult colors, but GBBs are brilliant because they take on all different kind of uh, patterns and colors as they grow up until they get their final coloration. And they're so cool. When they're smaller than that, that one looks similar to adult coloration. When they're smaller than that, they look completely different. It, they are amazing. So although we do have one, if I find out this one to be male, I will keep it. If it's unsexed or or female by the time BTS comes, it may go in the sell list unless Dan gets too attached to it. So I am happy to receive that one, even though it's a spider we already have. I think that's a good starter. My turn, my turn. I'll pick the other one up off the top. Let's make it nice and simple, shall we? We have got, oh, a gimp. NNC gold form. Ooh. So you've seen my NNC olive, yeah. exactly the same species as an olive, it's just a coloration. So this one is the gold coloration. I happen to love the NNC golds, and do you know what? I've never been lucky with them. I think I've had two or three in the past, and for some weird reason, they've they've all passed in time. I don't know what it is, but every olive I've had, even though they're the same species, has been fine. My adult female. Um, I've had for years. She is absolutely fine. She's not even had one, well, given me one bit of worry at all for her whole life. The others have had slings and then passed them on when they were juveniles. But for some reason, I'm unlucky with a gold, and I love the gold. I think it's a beautiful coloration. And if I can get this one to be an adult female, if it is a female, I'd keep it over my olive coloration because I think they're so beautiful. So even though it's a cheaper common species, again, I am happy with that gimp one. I know it's your Me. turn. But there are at least two more in here and I reckon it is just two more, which is fine. But you go ahead, unless there's a sling pot I haven't felt. So for 60 pound, the fact that we've got them two isn't too bad already. What you got there? Uh, ah, okay, curly hair. So, total cattle album colossus. So, I have uh, one of these that's a large juvenile. And uh, being from the spider shop, it's going to be the true form. Just check that that one's all right. This one's very huddled up. It's probably a little bit cold from the journey. 
I'm hoping that it's okay. Oh, it's a sub adult. Oh yeah, when it spreads out, it's actually quite big. That means mine's roughly the same size. So we may end up with a boy and a girl here as well. Hopefully. We'll soon find out. I can't remember what mine is. I can't remember if mine is a boy or a girl, you know. You okay? I think my one actually chews up all its molds. So I'm going to have a few around because I think there's only one more, but I'm just going to check. I'm going to just have a... Uh, yeah, there's only one... No, yeah, no, there's a sling pot as well. Do I get the sling pot or the bigger tub? Which one do you want? I don't mind. I'll do the sling pot because I know she wants the bigger tub. <laughs> I just said I don't mind. I know you. <laughs> Girls like them bigger. Shut up. Okay, I'm trying to get it. I've never had so much struggle over a sling pot in my life. Right. There's no label. Oh, wait, it's on the top. Oh, B. Kabokla. So this is now B. Horida. So this is the Bumba Horida. Used to be called the Bumba Kabokla. So a lot of places will still sell them as that. Oh, look the little redhead one. I have two of these and I absolutely adore them. I don't think I need three though. So one may go up for sale. Um, we will see. We will see. Maybe two, maybe all three. But it is a beautiful species. I do like raising them. So if I don't manage to sell them on, that's one that I will happily raise bigger. So. Are you sure that was the only one left? Yeah, pull it, pull it out, but don't look at it. And I will check with my hands in here to see. Right, very last one. So five spiders in a box ain't bad. I think I know what that is. An incy. So yeah, so we've got another incy. So this will be the olive form. Well, that was a disappointing last one, I've got to admit, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, all that suspense, it's always nice for you, the last one you pull out to be something awesome, right? Um, okay, overall, value of the box, pretty good. I can't complain of that for £60. I think the GBB makes up most of that money on its own. Um, and then the rest of them would have topped that a bit over. I preferred my last gift box, but that one isn't bad. But as I said, the only one that I'm really interested in keeping here is, is the gold, gold form in C. So if you liked anything you saw here, they may, may, may well be for sale uh, at BTS. Uh, if you haven't seen the video I did uh, for my patrons to do with how you can get cheap inverts, check out that video. And if you do decide to become a patron, you actually get money off at the BTS of my livestock. So anything bred by myself, you get a really hefty discount. And anything I haven't bred by myself, is you still get a small discount just by being a patron for as little as $1.99 a month. So if you want to see me at BTS and you want to get some of this vast collection that we've got here for sale and you want a bit of discount, it might be worth checking that out. So, I don't think there's any more we need to do in this video. I think we're going to wrap it up there. There may well be a bit of a long break now again before I upload another proper video like this. You will have to put up with live streams for a while, but we are actually looking at doing a lot of filming coming up. It's just going to take a long time to get all these bits of footage edited and had the voiceovers done and so on and so forth. So you will have to give me a while before you get a normal video but you should, in theory, still get weekly live streams, even if they're just there for a chat. So thanks again for bearing with me with that. Hopefully, with Hazel growing away, my youngest, she's now six months, when she's grown that way a little bit more, I might be able to find the time to start filming um, more regularly again. And I'm also looking to try and cut my hours by one day a week at some point. Right now, I can't afford it. I was going to do it by the start of the year, but I just can't afford it, especially with BTS COVID. coming up and, and I had COVID so I lost a lot of money and I had new plans for the animals and new plans for the kids and it's, <laughs> it's all too much, all way, way too much. But um, it's something I'm going to consider. Again, if you become a patron of mine and enough of you do, I can afford to cut that day down and you will get your weekly videos. No pressure, but you should do it. It's totally worth it. All right, guys, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you whenever we see you now in a live stream probably next week. Take care. Bye-bye.